Good evening, Zimbabwe. This is uh, Studio 7 Live Talk, the Women's Roundtable, coming to you today on Thursday, April 14th, 2022. I'm your host, uh, Sitani Shah. And I'm Marvelous Mklanganya, who is broadcasting from my home in Washington, D.C., due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, uh, Marv, uh, today you will be discussing uh, what's going on on the second uh, blitz of the voter registration exercise with most organizations um, for the female activists encouraging women uh, to register to vote and some having uh, campaigns which are female uh, spearheaded to encourage uh, the electorate to vote. And we also saw the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission saying that these centers will be opened throughout the whole um, of the Easter holiday. So people should take that chance to register to vote. Yes, Esther, and we saw that in the past months, although some of the centers were open, people were not really taking up the challenges. So this is where now the women's uh, organizations, nonprofits are also coming out and saying that they are going to be holding awareness programs to encourage women to go and register to vote and then thereafter to vote in the election. Yes, and uh, there are fears uh, in, as in some parts of the country that uh, some constituencies may fall under the X uh, for the delimitation exercise because there are a few registered uh, number of voters. And people cite various problems like lack of uh, identity documents and uh, birth certificates to enable them to get the IDs. So. But we have seen the government saying it has made it easier for people to access these documents. So we're just waiting to see if this uh, uh, program will pick up or if it will continue uh, on a slow pace with people trickling in. Remember, we even heard that there was a province where there was only one person registered by each day. <laughs> yes, and uh, we also saw that in Harare, especially, um, the registration department have been going out to high density suburbs to encourage people to come in and take birth certificates and also uh, taking uh, ID cards to enable them thereafter if they want to then go and register to vote. Uh, but some are arguing that maybe they should be working hand in hand with uh, you know the organization that is actually giving out the birth certificates and the ID so that the two, if you get your card, then you can register to vote at the same thing. Yes, and at the same time, the civic organizations are encouraging uh, the voter registration um, awareness programs, but we saw that Zek has already started those. But um, we spoke to some activists who are saying that the exercise should have come before the registration as some people are not aware of the ongoing process, especially in some remote part of the rural areas. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. I was under Namshanjegesi kubumula utaba logo palisela ugu vota si vota registration exercise. Esa kubega si abonu kuti sabo lishanda lese bili lo alo lushelo. Commission is a Unkunda is Chieneo, is a bullet in Uguti, the Kang and Uguti, is Cabeniza, Palisello, and Api, who vote, I was a song, is a cover, the Lizwe, Machabelle Landers, the Mashona Landers, the Manica Landers, the Midlands, the Matolope, and Wonke, which I want to have a was Uti, Balupegisa, Uti by Palisello, who vote a locum, in any gay, we labo, Abaleminaga, Abasan, who figures in Yaga, Elichumi. Les Chia Galoluni, Avanga Gaza gave a vote, Ava Padiso Pala Lavanji, Ava Pesula, Navala Pavanga Zanga before, and Jalo Labu, Ava Voti Leo, Ava Padisela, who vote as one ele is Patamanda, says Zek, whom names and a Jasper Manguane City, Avantu Behambi by Kangela, Imnini, one air, Voti Yonke, Nili, Nava Padisela, who vote, Okanga Lugutim, 
Ibizo lakho leqondile iwadi lapho uvotela khona iqondile isigaba uvotela kuso siqondile konke kubhalwe kuhle ngemfanelo yini ukwenza ukuthi ngelanga lokuvota umuntu angafiki ephazamiseka ukuthi ayenze njani yikho ke sabe sikucubunga la ke lokho lamhlanje sikhuluma ke lengcothi ezilwela amalungelo abesifazana labanye abaphatheke kulezinhlelo zokubhalisela ukuvota ukuze sizwe ukuthi bathini njalo bakhuthaza njani abantu ingxaki zingapi inhlelo zikarhulumente aziqhubayo ziyasebenza yini ukuthi abantu bebhalisele ukuvota mavela ngiwathi ukuthinga ngiwathi ukuthinga Uvota uyozweta nishinona kuti Sara Lorenz wekiru kutuwa shakari Riki itajibibo Riki itajibibo Kwa mtote kukocha kwa reza kukota Kuo nao shakari na mtote kwa shukita Kariki tikarishino Kariki nda kujimbo kwa kasiya na siyana Na chiweza kukira wani ke Kwa wakasina shukita Nema kutuwa 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 inji Kwa wakaita mbora kwa naka kina Kwa mai Kwa mai sima mando Mungatitana but ene usanga nurenyu panyaya ye kuzitza mazima inyanya kuchibanyure se kufota. Sanga naredu riku bata ama basa kasi ya nasiana. Yeguti tingati meseji ishi kegu mazima ya. Kutinguwa hiya ye kuzitza mazima ya kufota ya juka zikari. Tunanese kutiwa ni wanga wani kaku kakonshushi ni paka mwurea jeba bai lichenza. Paka varu wangu tiwa na washa nyure se. Baga fungu zina kutisha ato varu wa za chosti. Saka tiku joka jee kuna ana hunda kwa chino shanda. Tichu zama zimae kutayi wa kunyoresa kufota kwa tanga jee. Hapa muka kunyoresa hapa. Muno kwa nisa kufota jwa kare mungule la 2023. Pama election za shayish kwa muno mzimbabwe. Ie ama mnaezi election. Saka tiku kuenda pama social media. Tiku kuenda tishitanga ma message. Tichu ma zimae kose kose kwa mwuri kuko. Vota yi wana sikana wana kuma koleji. Vota yi. Nyore saiti siwa zisa zinodiwa kuti muna anga shikwani sa kwenda kuna nyore sa kufuota. Uyeze, tinguita ama program, atinga chima campaign za ambiti chifamba kuna raunda za tigiri. Tukia kufuata zishinji kuti mwaino ya chini indare COVID-19 za tigiri. Anu wangu vumizu wa kufamba wa chenda kuna jimbo za kasi ya nasiana. Saka tiku chora muka na yo, through my chapters yedu, tishit zizi sa kuna raunda kwa tigiri. Nekuti wime sikuwa ni chelo Zimbabwe. Iri mwoma provinze teni, ahe Zimbabwe. Saka hiko kwa tiri mwachamu cha imu mwoma tiri kufamba, tishina kuna arawanda zaka zika zika kwa tiri kuma remote areas kuya, tishit zizi sama zimai. Kunyangwe au walora ramane urema, tiri kuwa zizi sa kuti aywa, kunyangwe walora wa katila, basa ore mwoma pangula ino wapo wa chenda kuno, wa katila kuti wanyore se kuno vota, uye jeshi no, kwa nisika, kunge jishita kuwa kutu muna, kwa nisika kuno rejista kufota, jagata se chitutwa. Shinge jiri pajwa na uwasu kwa nisa jekuti Kana wa shinge wa nyoresa Pama zuwa mashuwa maruku ya kumbiru Watu kwa nisa jekuti ino tarisa Tara hu Eee Mungu Kote asu ho Jirange rimu Raga gara laka vurwa Ene bila kufara ni shiru ngwasha Kwa ni netu wani Netu wani ya kaisa shiru ngwasha kuti Eee Watu kwa nisa kuti Unu kwa nisa kutaka Tara hu Kuti waka register Kuwati kupi Jese jinge jiri po Uche juone ra Waka gara mba maku Sakari wa chilungwa chilu kutia ambilu wane mazimai ni wana sikana. Baru kushifare na ni chilu kuona kuti mazimai. Ni hizu zisha kazo wea si chitupa. Chitupa wano anga wa sina mfungi. Ene zanga zishine sama vena sikuinda pa makiu. Ni wakwa rejistra wakwa ini sa kuti wano watuwa chitupa. Asa ni zikuona sa kuti umendi ya isa izu pa mwichete. Kuti jifambe kuti na utikana wosina chitupa. Chiku ya ino zimopo registration BCI. Phase 2. Ndiwe hiriko. Wanuano batula shupa shake ufaenda kuno reji sa kuno vota. Ene tisikuta uraji ni mwakusindo ni kuti taka wazi wapa mabaile kendo kuti mazimai. Awana kuno kwa nisa kutoro reji sa wa mwakusindo watu jigazi na kuti wawema kandidesi. Kwa nisa kuno waka reji sa kuno vota. Yuri yo uchizi ya chukwa na tichiwa teorila. 
Muri ipapo mataura imikuti munopa zizi so chimboti wakune eva katera muti uzo tijiju no diwa kutimunu awani kwe ya chinyo lesa kufota mungu tipa zizi so yu. Eh eh, munu kana shenda kuno nyoresa kuno vota, ano takura iye inonzi chitupa, chitupa ndo chino diwa kana kutu passport, ili kushanda, doni ya wanenda kuno rejistana yu, ni proof of residence, proof of residence ndo tamba, kana gwaro, bepare mvura, Rema guests mazano kwa ni maduza ya Jura unu takula yoro Ushenda na roo ushenda na riza Pa unu gara Kuchina kutuwa pa wa ispamu watu Imo umuma unu gara Usa zuwa ni wana wacha mzwe kuti Pano nyore sa jungu wa wa ispa kumusha Iyo unu kudoroba Jura kuti ti 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 vana zile matia mzwe kwa kadaro Tampashi tupa chako Ne passport Iri kushanda Daka wana mazwa pera ima amona yazi elections Wadu wa ispamu wani ni ma passport ya Aka expire, ajidiwe jojo, amufumizwe Uye je driver's license Aisha kwa nisi kuti munu Aende kuna register kufote Aende kuti aitari, aitari Kuti sapu kukwa umu utwande kufika na uti naraunda Ya unu gara ili kutwe Uye je aitari ze inonzi citizenship Jire wakuti ulimu gara Uwemu Zimbabwe Rika na kuti ahusi Saka kana kuna register kuna ufote Kuna diwa wagari uwemu Zimbabwe Kuni au ufuti wakapi wa inundi chuo citizenship. Wanengi wa shirazi za uzimu uwa wanu kukara uku. Asi waka kufumizi wa. Nemu temo ulume ni kutu waka. Washukwa nisa jeku ufote wa rimu nika yune Zimbabwe. Ok, if you can just tell us what is your organization doing currently. We see you've been running a campaign encouraging women to register to vote. Yeah, currently is the Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe and also is the Female Students Network uh, Trust we've embarked uh, on the uh, voter mobilization uh, for registration uh, bliss, uh, phase two, which has been currently rolled out by ZEC to ensure that our women uh, get registered to vote and we are encouraging them to really uh, take the particulars that are required by ZEC and also by the government of Zimbabwe for you to be able to be registered as a, a citizen of Zimbabwe. So we are carrying out uh, awareness campaigns around uh, the social media and also as a women's coalition of Zimbabwe, we are decentralized. Uh, we are, we exist in the 10 provinces of Zimbabwe. So you realize that uh, reaching out to the grassroots is not a problem. So those chapters are also doing the same in terms of mobilizing women uh, to go and vote. And it's also in, uh, in, in good time where we have just come, uh, we have just come from the by-elections where we have discovered that women were not fully represented and women, especially young women, did not uh, get, give the opportunity to go and vote. So we're actually embarking on these awareness campaigns and also mobilization uh, place to encourage our women to go and register to vote wherever they are. And also not uh, forgetting uh, or, or not leaving anyone behind, especially to those women who are living, uh, who are living with uh, women with disabilities. So we are also encouraging the Europeans that they should assist them to go and register to vote. And we are also happy that uh, this registration uh, uh, bliss has come in good time where uh, the the mobile registration for identity cards is also being rolled out. Mm -hmm. So it's easier actually to our. Our, our women and also the citizens of Zimbabwe, where the mobile registration of identity cards has been decentralized to our community. So it's easier for someone to acquire an identity card and uh, go straight to register and vote. And we, we do want to applaud and appreciate the facility that Net One has also rolled out that it is now easier now for you. If you register, you can go, you can set your, your, your name in the voters through the Net One facility that has been given. So the campaign are running are, are, are running through the social media. Mm -hmm. We are also having the physical meetings. And because of now the COVID-19 regulations or restrictions have been relaxed a bit, people are now uh, able to mix and mingle. And we are taking this opportunity as the women's question of Zimbabwe to reach out to the women who are in the deepest remote areas, so encouraging them to go and register to vote and also encouraging them to acquire, to acquire 
he identifies that are required for someone or for somebody to be able to register to vote. Mm -hmm. Can you take us through what is actually required for someone to register to vote, especially for the women listening out there? What should particulars should they have? Very important aspect they came out with us because I, I think we've laid from that just the end of uh, elections where we've seen uh, you know, people not knowing what are uh, really required by one to be able to actually vote and also to go and register to vote. So what is required is a valid passport. Uh, you can also take with you an identity card for yourself. And surely we don't want people who use other people's identity cards, honestly. So that's a bliss is, is also helping everyone to acquire identity cards. So it's ID, a valid, I, I know ID is, or, or is always valid. Mm -hmm. And a valid passport that is not is, uh, expired. And a driver's license is not uh, allowed to uh, to go, for you to go and raise to vote. So it's a passport uh, and an ID and then a proof of residence, which also shows where you live, the world which you are coming from, so that when you are registered, it really clearly indicates, and we can also uh, ind uh, indicate through your proof of residence where you are supposed to go and, uh, and vote. So it's very important that you should take with you this identity particular so that you get registered. So we don't want disappointments where people go, they are informed, and they know it's frustrating. To come out of the queue, you we know you, you, you want to register, but you are told you have brought in uh, a driver's license or invalid passport or with, uh, a birth certificate. That one or the paper uh, ID is not is not required. So it's either the plastic identity card, which is now available in Zimbabwe, and even the metal one mm -hmm. and the valid passport. These are the particulars that somebody can take uh, for registration is we are also uh, doing this uh, campaign on voter registration at the moment. Thank you so much. Over to you, sir. Lapoge Sizwa, Om Shoni Chawe to Gay, is it Cassisela, Mogan Zwa in Shanga Niso Yaki, Ugo Fundisa, Abantu Uti, the Palisa Lugo Vota, Silongosa, the Ever Nice Monando Oil Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe. What in Shanga Niso Yaki, you could taza, Abis Fazan, Ugo Ti, the Palisa Le Ugo Vota, Ugo Pagatel Leo in Jalo, we are Cassisa, Rabanzi, Moguti. We know Funega, I would tune to our toilet, my seer, whatever name, I want a Velessa de Guazi, would to Melvelis to Passaco, who may lay my own last two pound bullet passport, you whom they who learn what the Ebunigan form or you would to child name mortal, when you're going name, or when the Uguti Uhambegi, we a badisa, Uguti or forty, Jaloge, Ustasella, Mogutige, Abbess Fazan, Inchelabas, Kubayo, Loguti, Abbess Fazan, and Abuva Kutasa. Njalo kuti be votela ne. Ah, uh, ikoge lapo ebe si guzwage ebe gumshoni chawe tu ebe si lai lapa etringweni. Ah, uh, marvelous. You remember last time we had a campaign called um we had a lady uh, Miss Corandevele who was explaining a campaign yes. that uh, be a registered voter campaign which was spearheaded by women which is spearheaded by women because she's saying they are continuing the campaign during this second blitz. And there were, she generated a lot of um, uh, interest amongst the people and controversies when she stated that the women have to go to the extent of uh, refusing to be intimate with their husbands <laughs> because if they have not registered to vote. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we put that story up on the web and our listeners generated many comments because they were saying the topic is controversial and uh, they shouldn't, uh, the women should not uh, do that, but just um, say people should go and register to vote. But she did explain that um, it was done as the last, women can do that as the last resort, not only to their husbands, but to their children as well. You know, grown up kids who don't want to go and register to vote, they should not dish out food for them until they show a registration slip. So she was saying that's the way to make people get up and register to vote. So today um, she's still trying to get into the show, her network is bad. But uh, she sent us uh, the first uh, recording where we can listen to how far has this uh, program gone? Was it successful? Did they manage to 
Uh, did the women manage to do that, to not give their children food or their husbands <laughs> intimacy? And uh, how is it going? So let's uh, hear from her as to what's going on. Yes, there, Mav, we had Ms. Um, Cora Ndebele of uh, be a registered voter campaign. She's actually saying the campaign is a success. They've re uh, received phone calls saying after a day or two when the children, especially the boys, you know, this, she says the ones who are always loitering around the streets, not employed, school dropouts, or they, first school, or they can't get a job. After one or two days without food, they bring the registration slips. I'm sure it will be interesting to hear what uh, Mrs. Monanjo says about this one. But the gist is that it's household based, it's uh, family based, and the woman is the one who can make the difference by pushing the sons, the daughters, and the husband to register to vote. Yes, if you can uh, 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 ask uh, Ms. Munando, what do you think of this program? Is it a best way of doing um, the campaigns or everyone is free to bring their own types of campaigns? Let me just ask it. Uh, my Munando, uh, we are hearing here, you know, there's a campaign uh, that is being spearheaded where they are actually saying uh, maybe women should uh, deny, especially at the voter age group, uh, some food if they don't have a registration slip and they say it's been working what's your view you work with female students you work with students what's your view on this campaign yeah i think this campaign is is quite is very strategic in the sense that it really denies somebody the basic need and it makes somebody to realize the impact and the pain that somebody would go through after being denied the food because Voting, actually, you are, it's your voice. Mm -hmm. 
if you deny your voice the access to be heard i think these are the consequences but i think it's also a kind of you know a bit aggressive and i i appreciate that because i think we we have been we have exhausted quite a number of strategies in terms of uh encouraging youths to go and vote so drawing i mean drawing them closer to the need and closing drawing them closer to home i think will make them realize the impact that they are causing even when they are not going to uh, register and vote so i appreciate uh, your campaign but also to say i think uh yeah we really need to look both at both sides of the coin mm -hmm. to say in, in doing that are we not also creating other problems because i think we need to uh go deeper to the grassroots understanding why these youth are uh, are refusing to go and uh, and uh, and register to vote or to vote what is what is also associated with their lack of interest so if you address the root causes i think they've addressed all the problem uh, it, uh, 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 on this on, on its entirety so it's, it's it's okay but i think other strategies should also be devised so that they can they should be educated and make them understand why is it important for them to vote so but this is this is an example i think it, it should be followed by education voter education and also in just contentizing the youth and even the young people to, to ignite interest to go and vote and do the way with apathy mm -hmm. yes uh, that's very interesting because we also hear it in her audio saying that um she, she she's uh the people say they don't want to register to vote because they don't see any difference but she's telling them that there won't be any difference if you don't go to register to vote and that um the uh -oh. strategy they are using is just to speak and everywhere they find people gathered they would address them and she says she was interested when she saw a woman on a bike saying to people please go and register to vote that she believes in her campaign is uh, is uh, reaching uh, far and uh, wide. Yes, uh, over to you, marvelous. Seeing any other categories, a which the Kimuruko never chibuda, Kununuresa Kufota. Can out of our good cheese say, I think, would have no notice. Ah, what is the other? In a good trick, which is what you understand, I never scan out, Senda Kuma College. You would see you are join university. community, Mumba, high school, everybody. I see kana kupoka na kuti ndashaya na marriage call mamire ezvinhu kana kuti kumira kwakaita economy iri mumu Zimbabwe iri kuda inonzi holistic approach iri kuda munhu wese kuti tisi musoro pamwe chete ine ndihandisi kuti eh kana ati avhota tinochinja ma leaders asi ndiri kuti ngati uomei kuti kana tisarudza ma leaders edu patino register kuno patino register kuno vhota tine mukana mukwisa izwi redu pakunotsarudza vatunga mirire vachandzisisa kodzerezedu but to my middle, what happens with this and one as a true son and another. The longer from here is a marvelous with the name that you voted a cancel. Vice who would have Mamandi Gere, Ruth, Munarusan and Nazo, Sasawiki, our new Akeda Kunguaza, Vascana, Garotas and Nia Vascana, Vandros Yaku was a bullet of Tagram Gomo, Kuva Kuno attended the Koko, the Utagam for a we are not Yamatamu Zibu, Arusan and Gwana Utagam for a Koko, Saka who voted a cancel a car who got a bullet. I don't know, never jacuzzi. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I Manage 
Maybe let me just ask you again in English. What are you seeing on the ground regarding the youth? And we saw there was a lot of apathy when it came to the by-elections. But what kind of a response are you getting when you do uh, your community visits? Yeah, it's very pathetic and it's very saddening that to learn that youth, most of the youth, they are not coming forward. The reason I think they are, they are, they are plenty. But what I also discovered is that when we are doing our mobilization and our campaigns, yes, youth are coming in big numbers, you know, to attend those work, whatever campaigns. But what is also saddening is we don't see them on the ground doing the actual thing. Because we've taught them how to do things, we've taught them how to, to register what is required. And you know what? What is also said is that the youth are the most educated. They are the, the, the backbone of this country. And if they can only take part in 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 in, 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 in participating uh, in, uh, in the country we are in, in the national duties i think they will make a difference but i think they are should i use the word ignorant i think it's a proper one because they pretend not to know but they know because they are going to school they are not taking uh, these uh, national duties very seriously and they don't really understand the impact that is associated with not, I mean, without, I mean, without, with not participating in the national duties. For example, uh, if you don't speak to voting, if you don't register to vote, and they, they, they become very frustrated when the voting time is arrived. They want to go and vote by the day to not register because the morale now in the community will be high. To say well, let's go and vote, let's go and vote. That's when somebody is going to discover that I did not register. And they want to create a drama. They go to a polling station, they say, Ah, I didn't find my name. Yeah, what what's blaming who? You know, I think you know the world is now I mean, everything is um well I think our test can just be wrong. Hey, I hope uh, and, uh, my co-host, I hope they are coming back soon. 
in the meantime, uh, we'll continue with our, um, with our guest. Uh, I see uh, Mablas is back. In the meantime, we'll continue with uh, our other guest, uh, Koran Debele, to hear what she has to say uh, more or would there be a registered voter campaign that is spearheaded by women at household level. It remains with, um, with no one only could register, so only 18 years and above. So, how um, Kakaso, Sel Kuba, Nakuna Samapan, Napa, Safiene, Nabuza Kamis, Miz, Miz, Avantuba, Kuba, and I say, a Lassakaman, which looks three as Kuba as Kageta, a different groups of people as a much age, a young as a much age. A church is much a to one who can take it to the register. Umana, one of my youth programs, a church in age was a my youth, Safia, he was much a little bit of a tear registered. So, Kakas on his lazy and a mafi chan. Who's that pillar just taking face? Everyone, every is registered. The hashtag voter registration campaign is progressing well so far so good we are really impressed because in the previous uh, um, voter registration we had calls people calling after the re voter registration they stopped people calling saying we failed to register because we didn't get ids but in this second phase we are privileged that uh, the um, uh, registrar a vote another program for those who want birth certificate and IDs in such a way that all these new registered people who have who got their IDs in this phase will make sure that everyone re register to vote. Majority of them were 18 and register general we expect more numbers of people more numbers of people are registering and don't come and register for the be registered voter campaign on the same note uh, we have escalated our voter registration campaign by um, targeting informed members at household level we are no longer concentrating on women or ladies to push this campaign at household level. But we are saying every informed member at household level, even if it could be the, the head of the family, the father or uh, the mother, or even the youth at household level are informed, they should just make sure that they preach the same gospel and make sure that at their household level or in their resident area, there's no one who remains unregistered. Even at community level, one informed member at community level should make a difference. What it means is one informed member should preach this same gospel to everyone and encourage everyone that he or she registered. She registers. And on the same note, uh, people used to, when, when we started this campaign, uh, it was sort of a talk when we say, uh, make sure that you don't give your your child who's eight living about food for a night to make sure that you encourage her or him to vote but they've given us results even for the fathers uh, when we say ladies should deny then they are going to rise they, they were complaining but at the end of the day we got positive results because we have quite a number of people who, who, who have managed to make sure that it's out in their household level they remain with the zero percent non-registered citizen at household level which is positive really we are in place and we are encouraging we are still pushing and encouraging everyone at household level so far we've been targeting groups whereby we are um, community meetings we preach the same gospel at community level in community meetings and in the youth programs whenever there are youth programs we get invitation by the youth to come and talk to them about the importance of being a registered voter. Even at community, I have been invited in quite a number of communities, including, including. Yeah, okay. Oh, hello, Lapo. I'm going to get on. Shani Chawai too. Um, oh, Tagegi Lapo is a Tassisa. 
ukuthi ba sebenza njani lomphakathi lapha ke nje ube sekhuluma ngesinkisi kodwa ngaka kukhuluma kuqala ukuthi bahamba becela ukuthi umphakathi ubhalisele ukuvota yeye ngizathi ke kaqhubela good positive results because we have quite a number of people who we have managed to make sure that it out the house of care was they remain with the zero percent non-registered citizen at house of care, which is positive really. We are in place and we are encouraging, we are still pushing and encouraging everyone at house of care. So far we've been targeting groups whereby we work with the um community meetings we preach the same gospel at community level, at community meetings, even the youth programs, whenever there are youth programs, we get invitation by the youth to come and talk to them about the importance of being a registered voter. Even at community, I've been invited in quite a number of communities, including, including my own community. I remember there was this residential meeting and I was invited to address the community about the importance of being a registered voter. So, so far, so good we are really, we have for positive results. Even if we look at the rural area, as I'm speaking right now, I'm in rural areas and I'm preaching the same gospel, I'm not now targeting the community opinion community leaders at a, at a, at a community because if you take those uh, the message spreads faster mm. so so far so good we are getting more youth because on this particular issue we are now encouraging the youth more to go and get their ids to capitalize on this uh, registration of for uh, ids and birth certificate and uh, we have even the old people who don't have the, even uh, the birth certificate, who are encouraging them to go and get access of a, a birth certificate and an ID. And as soon as they have these uh, important documents, they should just go and register and appear on the voters' roll. So far, so good. We were impressed. The results are positive. And we're expecting that by the time when this program ceases, uh, every citizen of Matevene Land region particularly will be registered and will be appearing on the voters' room. Right. Uh, Marvelous, that was Cora Ndebele. She's um, also adding that uh, in some places in the rural areas, they find that um, even older people, older men and older women still don't have uh, documents, even birth certificate, and they try to make them to go and register to vote. Yes, we would like to hear from uh, Mrs. Monando if that's what they encounter too, and if it's easier to get uh, the, the, these uh, registration documents, because we see the government is saying it has made it easier, but uh, on the ground, is, does it really is it apply? Are people getting these documents easier? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear us there. Uh, Star was just asking, uh, I think her network is uh, kind of choppy oh. at the moment, but let me ask her. Uh, if you heard the question, uh, Star is asking that is it easy for people to get the ID cards? Uh, because she's saying, uh, our guest is saying in some areas, it's even the older people who don't have uh, their birth certificates and ID cards. What are you seeing on the ground? Hello? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah. Hello? Carry on. Okay. You can carry on. Yeah, I think we're having issues. Yes, I think we're having <laughs> issues. Yeah. I, will, I will try to call her back um, because I think, you know, she's been on the phone for the past uh, half an hour. So I'll try to call her back. But it's interesting to hear uh, what our guest, Mrs. Ndebele, is saying there, that she's actually in the rural areas at the moment. And also the Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe are also saying that uh, because they are in uh, 10 regions in the country, they are also decentralizing and also pushing their message to the rural areas. So I'll try and uh, see if we can get uh, my uh, Monando back on the phone, uh, because as you know, the network in Zimbabwe is a bit choppy uh, at the moment. Yes, and uh, like where Ms. Ndavela says she is, it's uh, raining, so which is making the issues worse, despite the, I mean, on top of the issues that are always there, Concerning networks, yeboge gula bo abasanda ugu stoma ge si kopa ge mochelo logo police la ugu vota i vota registration exercise yona ge esa kubega elizweni longe nje se abone buti inla ngani so yezek isikutaze abantu buti be police le ugu vota 
ngen ngendlela yokuthi sibona ukuthi siyakukhefu lephasi ka Tesi izeki ithi i i izigaba uyabe kuvuliwe uhlelo lolu luyabe luvuliwe ngakho ke abantu bethathele lithuba ukuthi bebhalisele ukuvota kabe kungela ukuthi kuvaliwe ngoba iphasika njalo bathi sebe kwenza kube ngcono ka Tesi ukuthi abantu benzene befinyelele eh indawo zokuvota ka Tesi ngabe bezidinga njalo ngemota ngalokho ukuthi wa imobile voter registration exercise ah yikho ke esicoca ngakho lamhla silabahlonitshwa bethu ke abalwela amalungelo abesifazana sibonile ke besikhuluma ke lo nkosa lo nkosikazi ah Cora Ndebele owe be registered voter campaign kodwa usema phandleni ucingo lakho yalo uvumi sakhuluma njalo lo nkosikazi eva nice munandi la hostel ukuthi inhlanganiso yakhe kuyine kwenzayo ngalolu daba and Mavu, uh, we also spoke to someone uh, Studio Seven uh, from the rural areas mm. who say that who are saying that uh, there some people are not aware of the program of the voter registration uh, exercise, but they are encouraging people to go and register to vote, and that mm. there are programs there to teach the people by Zek. Uh, some cannot access those uh, places because they are far, although it's called mobile. Mm -hmm. but still, you know, no one will be very satisfied. Uh, let me mute it. No one will be very satisfied that it's at their doorstep. Someone else will be saying it's still further from my doorstep, but it's better than last time. But those other centers are still open to the main centers where people can go and register to vote. These ones are just additional. Uh, let's uh, take uh, my Monando quickly because the network is uh, choppy at the moment. Muti tau roti muko na shaka mira se ipanya ye kuchores. Yes, uh, go ahead. Muti tau roti muko na shaka mira se ipanya ye kuwa na magwari wa ye kutiwa nwa sonu nyure sa kufote. And we are going to be talking about the fact that we are going to be talking about the fact that we are going to be talking about the fact that we are going to be talking about the fact that we are
if you can say the same thing in English, what are you seeing on the ground uh, regarding, you know, how people are taking up the voter registration exercise? Okay, I, I think from the field is that we are getting from the communities that uh, the voter, more, more, uh, the more the voter registration is not able to do uh, registration, but it is that uh, uh, some, some, some communities that are failing to access the, the registration points because they are still very far away. And also, I think the information or the media of communication that was used to publicize this area, I think it was also a uh, uh, marginalizing because it was used there uh, through radio. Some they also it was established. I mean, published in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. mm. I think we're having issues there. So, uh, some also are defending on social media, so it could not reach. Hello. Yes, carry on. We can hear. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Carry on. Yeah. Uh, let me call you back. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to call you back. Uh, I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back. So, Star, she, my Monando is agreeing with you that yes, uh, what uh, the caller in the rural area said is true because some of the messages that were sent were, you know, were done on radio and newspapers, and some people don't have access uh, to that form of medium. So, she was saying what they have done as the Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe is actually use their chapters uh, within, you know, the, the provinces to go into each area especially like places where people collect water and uh, you know give awareness programs there leave a leaflet there so that people can know because when they heard the term mobile registration some people stayed home thinking that the registrar's office will come and knock on your door and give you a, you know your registration or your birth certificate but that's not how it works they are just literally going to an area and then expecting people to come to the actual mobile uh, clinic that they'll be running. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And uh, one, the mobile registration, and I also hate it, she was also hating that some people, to some people it's still far, even yes. if it's still the mobile. All right, thank you very much, uh, Mav. Um, I think I will give an audio again where we spoke at uh, Studio 7 to uh, someone from the Rural Areas Empowerment Trust in Lubani, there in Matebelele North, and she was explaining um, difficulties uh, faced by villagers uh, during this uh, second uh, uh, phase of the voter registration mobile place. Um, we spoke to Vumani Njovu, uh, Utolo. See, we spoke to Vumani Njovu, uh, an official of the Rurals Rural Communities Empowerment Trust. Um, Yes, that's um, Rural Communities Empowerment Trust. is based in Lupane, Matebelele North, and she's uh, explaining uh, what's going on there in the rural areas. Education Station education, a Bacadi say is solo. A Nefane of Fanelooti Nabe Bacadi say Mandulo, good day, Amalfiga Mata, to whom I can see, Dona Oshelo, Logo, Logo, and Chester. Sina Zelele Futi, Loguti, a Insanganiso, as is Meleo, Gazizang, Zibela Matuba, Eneleo, Benitica Zila Matuba, Eneleo, a Oguti, Zingen, a Paratini, Zico. Zelumparati, 
Uzima Makaya, Uchi, Wesagale, Loku, Lama, Resources, Anafana, there's motors of Wuhambisa, Uchi Avant Bangene, Sabalari Sele on Bivo. They civil Uchi, Nave, Ama Resources, Ave Corner, a Chananiso, there's his Meleo, Zibe Iso, Sabalarisa, Lom. Bigo, the fungi say is a camizi, a one tanga, who caratega, who we are a test, and one one in one and who's a fan of the local with Zagale, who first please here for the registration lap, who will have a Maluchuana called a Hamdubar register, who vote the Catis in Jebusafana, who Kayangan in Jelisaba, a Okuruman, the Wenzisaba, which we will have for the registration. But again, some solar Yes, the wolf water, a bang makaya, in bang poga, we would a la lolo shelo, bebe a lucaratisi, moving a fundiswana, so we will go and education, the was in Jalo Futi, the Wooti, Miss EP in Jinga, who is in a lie, or now Umutia voter, a Ojanga's Tupa, Ojanga, my proof of residence, Lobuya owning leg, in some waters, Gileo, Escotella, Ukuluman, Escotella Mavanda, Zombusa, Escotella in Sanganiso, this is the Leo. Zonke and Jenez on Shangot is this telling a candle, a wukani lobuti zenzan. Yeah, okay. There, marvelous, uh, we had uh, woman in Jovu of the communities of the Rural Communities Empowerment Trust. He's based in Lupane, Machabelele North, and he was uh, saying uh, what have, we have said before about. Um, the problems in rural areas, he says uh, in his uh, province, the ZEC personnel came to, for voter registration um, awareness education uh, on Monday when the second place was starting, which was too late to inform, you know, other villagers, they should have been ready for that. And he's also saying it's not just the government, even the NGOs should also up their game to teach people. But of course we hear Mrs. Monadi saying that's exactly what they are doing and Kora saying that's exactly what they are doing. Because you are saying if it continues like this, like this, this program might be the same as the first uh, blitz where there were low, low, um, lower registration. Yes, marvelous. over to you. Uh, let's ask uh, Mrs. Monando, you get there from one of the callers. They're saying uh, you as non-profit organizations, you need to up your game. What's your take on that? I think we've already upped our game. So I think uh, the complementary role in terms of the government, I think they should also up their games in terms of uh, complementing each other. The game is already there, it has been already up. And uh, I think uh, this uh, ignorance by the citizens and also maybe, I don't know what's, what's, what's in it with our citizens. They are not taking this very seriously. But what I've also discovered, I think I've shared with a few earlier, that when the time of voting, that's when they, have, they get frustrated. They want to vote, but they don't want to register. Mm -hmm. So we are really trying our best. We cannot say we have reached the maximum, but we are really trying our best to really make sure that uh, we have mobilized communities, we have mobilized women, leaving no one behind, young women, middle aged elderly women, and uh, I, I was happy even in the uh, 
on the just ended by elections where we saw all the disabled women, uh, pregnant women, nursing women also coming to vote, but the numbers were very low. I mm -hmm. think that's our major concern. So mm -hmm. we, I mean, as, 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 as the matter of a target, we are we want to up our game. We want to increase the campaigns and raising of awareness what the importance of voting, so that we link. And uh, I mean, as, as the women's coalition of Zimbabwe, we've also started uh, to say how I mean, linking the voter registration with the, the issues that the the women are facing. Let's go and register for so that we vote to end GBV in our communities. Mm -hmm. Let's go and register vote to end poverty in our communities because most of our women are living in poverty. Sixty six percent of them they are in informal trading, and it's not it's not easy to do informal trading due to COVID. Some they uh, they can no longer cross these borders. They cannot. They they are no longer doing the work and they, I mean expecting production. They uh, do. So I think it's also a strategy that we are putting we put in place to say how do we reach you know I'm sure it's linked on the that campaign the intimate campaign to say <laughs> how we bring closer the, the problems into the home so that we make this woman and this young person understand the importance or the impact. Yes, sir. Thank you very much to Miss Monanda. They were running short of time. We'll give uh, Cora just uh, uh, Miss Cora and Jebel of the Be a Registered Voter campaign just a minute to say her last words. <laughs> Abalis, <laughs> Right, you will have to cut a short there as we are running out of time, marvelous. But we'd like to thank our guest, um, Mrs. Cora Ndevele of the Be a Registered Voter Campaign. And uh, mm -hmm. my ever nice Monando, the Sangano Women's Coalition of Zimbabwe, we are the Sangano Female Students Trust. To Sangano Shakari, we are the Sangano Shakari, we are the Sangano Shakari, we are the Sangano Washington. Yeah,